Good morning. The macaws just flew by, like six of them. And they're all like in that tree there, but they're a bit far away so you can't see them. Oh, my chicken has come to visit me this morning. I have a daily visit from a chicken. And I always think, why did the chicken cross the road? Where is he? Can you see him? So I'm on my way to work and I really dread it. I don't think that I've dreaded a job quite as much as this one. I think just because fundamentally I just don't agree with what I'm doing. I feel like a spammer, an asshole doing this. I'm not bad at it because, well I have good command of the English language and I'm not, I'm fairly confident, like I'm not a shy person so I have a no problem, you know, making cold calls, speaking to strangers on the phone. Um, that's not a problem. And I know what SEO is, so it's just a matter of using the lingo. The guy who owns the company, he really talks like a used car salesman. So he's got his, you know, he's got his lingo down, he's got his shtick going, and that's how he... But he really, he really sounds very slick and he talks quickly when he's doing these sales things. I, however, think if you are gonna buy on the telephone, then you're probably not a great business person. Not that bright. <laughs> In the sense that you didn't go out and just get what you needed. You're waiting or you're able to be swayed by some phone call at an unknown time trying to sell you something. I don't know. You make a thousand phone calls and maybe one is interested. I feel like when I'm calling, I'm like, hi, how are you? If you were a smart business person, you knew what was going on, you'd hang up on me right away. I am a cold caller, so you don't know me, but I'm here to sell you something. I know that you're not busy and you have nothing to do except to receive my phone call and to buy something from me that you didn't know that you needed. All right. Hi. Click. Hi, where are you calling from? Click. <sighs> I'm going to do this job that I just, fundamentally, I don't believe in. You know, I know that websites need SEO in order for them to rank. However, um, I think this is a bad way to do business. I get five of these phone calls a day, click. It's like, yeah, we shouldn't be doing this. But I need my $4 an hour so that I can make $20 a day so I can eat my one meal a day and have electricity, water, and a telephone with internet. $4 an hour, five hours of sitting in one place with a headset on. I don't even make the phone call. The system phones for me. So I just sit there with these headphones on. They're cheap headphones, so eventually my ears, about three hours into the day, my ears start to feel quite sore. It's the dumbest, most boring, uh, irritating job that I've ever had in my life. I keep thinking that I'd like this to be my last day, but I need that $20 a day um, to survive. That's what I live on. So I'm going to call, usually I'm able to make about 300 phone calls in five hours, no, less than that. I end up talking quite a long time, so I'm the longest talker. I'm about twice as long on the telephone than anybody else, which the owner like. For me, it's so fucking boring. It's not challenging. It's not interesting. I'm not making money. There's no follow-up. I have no project. It's dummy work, really. And he's waving this carrot in front of my head saying, ooh, 9,000, you know, a month you could make. Well, in sales, you're only as good as your last sales. I'm sure he didn't do that for too many months in a row. Yeah, that's a big carrot. Um, maybe I'm cynical. I don't think that's possible, but anyways. I'm off to work. I'm gonna eat some salad. I'm still trying to get through this red sneaker video and oof, difficult, uh, really difficult. I'd like to just address the whole damn thing at this point. I'm pretty much fucking done. Anyways, here we go. Good morning, Mr. Rooster. <laughs> Squawking all morning. This guy comes visits me every morning at about six. 
a.m. <laughs> 6 a.m. chicken. Bye, Patchies. You have a good day and you guard the house. You be a good little doggy. I love you very much. You're a good doggy. You're a good doggy, Patchies. Bye. Okay, so I'm off to work. I plan on having a good day. Although, it's not really what I want to be doing. I kind of wanted to forfeit the $20 that I make today and just stay home. I'm all ready for work. Another day, another dollar. Ooh, look, the chicken. <laughs> He follows me everywhere. So the last thing I want to be doing is making $20 today by sitting on a phone for five hours. But this is what I'm doing for now. I really should be making other arrangements, better arrangements. I'm heading to do a job that I, I just don't, I don't know, my principles go against it. I just don't agree with the tactics that I'm doing. So I kind of dislike it. I never had a job that I didn't like the tactics. Here I go to work. Wish me luck. I'd rather be building walls. Hi, is Tom there please? All right, I will try then. Thank you very much. Good morning, is Ellen Bridgers there, please? This is really boring. It's really boring. Yes, I am experiencing delays and call back tomorrow. <clears throat> Hi, Marie, and I hope to speak to you soon. Thank you, Marie. Bye. Oh my God. I do that like a hundred times a day. Good morning. Oh, oh no. I have to pick up some doggy poo poo. That's my mornings. So today I think I'm very excited to book a flight. I think today um, after work, it's like five in the morning right now, and I am going to go to work. Oh, my orange tree has so many oranges in it. Um, so I'm gonna go to work and then I'm gonna come home, grab a few things and then go back out to another job. It's hard to get one job here that's gonna do it all for you. Uh, so I am gonna go off and um, start my day. You know, I was thinking last night on YouTube, you get some pretty nasty comments. So, um, so I was thinking of some of the comments and I'm, I mean, I guess I'd like to address some of them because they're so ridiculous. Do I want to address ridiculous? Well, in a way, because there, there's just so much ridiculous in this world that sometimes it's hard to ignore it all. So you want to point it out so that you can find people that think similar to you. That's why I really enjoy YouTube. Weirdos that frustrate me. I can actually watch the people that see the same things in those weirdos and point them out. And it uh, allows me to feel some camaraderie in this insanely crazy world. I think a lot of chaotic thinkers, when they're placed with some very logical ideas, they chalk it up because it's too much of a thought process for them. I don't know. Maybe. In any event, um, yeah. So I was thinking about, they call me some, you know, that I'm dirty and I'm nasty and this and that. And geez, you know, living in the jungle is kind of dirty and nasty. 
And when I lived in Toronto, I had a beautiful clean apartment. And if I would clean it, it would remain clean for like two or three weeks, maybe a little bit of dust here and there. It was a very urban, clean and tidy way of living. And do I miss it sometimes? Yes. But this is very earthy. The people are, are more earthy than they are in Toronto. If I clean a surface, two weeks later there's dust. <laughs> soil and decaying insects and you basically have enough material on a surface to seed a plant. <laughs> so yeah, it gets really dirty down here. So it's just part of living here. Uh, if you don't like it, then go back to a easy, clean, nice city where things are um, easy for you. You know, it's physically, there's a lot of labor you want to live here. I'm just thinking even like, you know, 500 years ago and before then, how all humans used to live. Jeez, I would think that's really dirty. <laughs> so yeah, am I dirty? Yeah, I'm sticky. It's always humid here. It's uh, salty air. So um, uh, when I go home, I really do feel like I dry up. My skin enables me to sort of feel clean again. I don't come out of the shower sweating. In any event, I am excited about going to Toronto and seeing all my friends. Um, and um, I gotta go to work. So I will see you later, bye.